Hello there. So it's been um, quite a long time since I picked up the camera and done anything. A little bit over a month. Yeah. So anyways, hi, how you doing? <clears throat> it's been a while. Let me see if I can remember how to do this. It's just been kind of, you know, February and March. But in honor of March and spring finally coming, warmth is on its way, which means another hobby of mine well, other than arts and crafts and music and whatnot, I freaking love mushroom hunting. It's another, I don't know, two weeks, or eh, about two weeks, depending on the temperatures, another two weeks before it's mushroom season around here in Kansas, northeastern Kansas, that's where I'm at now. Yeah, usually like the second week of April is when they eh, start popping, depending on the weather, but we've had some good rain, that's what's important, and it's starting to warm up. They're starting to find them in south Missouri, so that means they'll be here in a couple weeks. But until then, I got these really cool uh, statues from Walmart, of all places, my place of employment. They had two of these, and so I picked up one of them, and uh, with, with the intention of this would look a lot better if it was painted. Like, to actually look like a mushroom. So I got one of them. There's two total, and that other one sat there for a week or two, and I'm like... I really want to pick up that one too because these were like only 15 bucks so I was like that's really good so I picked up this one and I painted it turned out pretty good so I was like I really want to get one for my dad because my dad likes much hunting that's like our thing that's what we go do every March or every spring whatever so I was like he'd really like one of these so I went and picked up the other one so now I have two so we're gonna turn this mushroom into this Look how much better it looks when it's painted. It, it actually looks like the mushroom is supposed to look. If you don't know what these are, these are morel mushrooms. They only grow once a year and for about a two to three week window is usually, if it's a good year, maybe a month, they'll be around for a month, but normally two to three weeks is the only time a year they grow. So, and I'm going to take you guys along with me when I go on some of these hunts, so you can kind of check it out. I'm going to try to make it fun. That's what they're supposed to look like. And there's different shades. This is considered, I guess you would call a yellow. But they also come in a more gray color. Some of them come kind of black colored. But they, they all taste the same. But I like the yellow, so I, I pre-coated, I pre-painted them with this cream. That's about the color. I already had this out of my collection of spray paint and I'm like you know what that's close enough so this is almond gloss I probably well, the gloss looks all right I would have maybe done satin maybe flat because it's hard to paint when it's gloss it's a lot easier to paint when it's flat concrete but I was like eh, whatever and I'm just using regular regular craft paint for these I'm not using anything fancy and then I haven't done it yet but I still need to do a coat of clear coat to seal in all the um, acrylic paint that I did so that's what we're gonna do so I this was my little experiment to just make sure I could do it right and I bought better brown paint because this stuff is really watery so it, I had to do like two or three coats and I'm like I just wanted to do one because that's a lot of holes to fill in because I do a dark coat in the middle like a dark coat down inside and I want it to kind of lighten to a lighter coat make it look more realistic like 3d and then I painted the bottom brown and dabbed some green for some grass and moss and stuff. So, yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. I really like it. So, that's what we're doing today. Actually, tonight we're just going to do the, the base coat for that. Do one coat, let it dry overnight, and then I'll complete it tomorrow. Because it's kind of late right now. But I at least wanted to get the paint on so it can dry. I put the paint on this one outside when it was below 50 degrees. It was like 45 and it stayed tacky longer than it should have, but it, it was good after a while. So I'm going to paint it inside with my lovely furnace running in the background. Hopefully you can't hear it. So we're going to do this inside, and I have a fan with the window sucking the fumes out. Hopefully that works. It does generally. But I'm not going to... I did two coats on this one. A little overkill because it's going to be outside, and most of it is going to be brown paint, and the only real color is the outside and then the stem so i was like you know i really didn't need to do two coats like what what am i protecting it's going to be clear coated on top of this so i'm going to save the time by just doing one coat so as far as the longest intro ever for any video thanks you guys for clicking on it to see how i do it and hopefully you enjoy the rest of this is probably going to be fast motion me painting
Fun, huh? Yeah. Alright, so time to get the base coat on this one. Just so I can start doing this tomorrow. Okay? They're really heavy. I got this one done this is the one I just painted this is the one I already had painted and I have to say this one the one I just painted turned out better I think and the only thing I did differently was I used a, a different paint like the acrylic paint that I used I didn't get the cheap 50 cent apple barrel one I got like the dollar 37 folk art one so that made a big of a difference I mean a better paint but is also the process that I used too which, uh, so a little tip that I learned. I mean, this doesn't look too bad, but I like the I like the color contrast of this one better. I don't know if you can, I'll try to zoom in on it, but the, the difference between the dark and the light, like coming out like a 3D effect. So the difference is how I painted them. Um, so on this one, I started off with the lighter brown and then went back with the darker brown and did the middle. And that's all I did. Well, on this one that I just painted, I started off with the dark brown and then I went back with the lighter brown and did the edges and then went back for a third coat with the darker brown and blended it all together. That one, that I think that's why this one turned out better because the, just the blending looks better on that one. Or the, the, the 3D effect I was going for looks better by doing that three step process instead of how I did this. So I guess I'll give the nice one to my dad. So he'll, he'll get this one and I'll keep this one. But other than that, I mean, they're very similar, so either way will work. But I just think the the dark, then light, and then going back with the dark and blending it all together looks a little bit better, looks more smoother. So now, all that's left is to put some clear coat on it, and I'm just going to use good old uh, Rust-Oleum Crystal Clear. I like this stuff because it's UV resistant, so it won't, like, yellow and fade, and plus it'll, it'll protect... The paint like it, it won't like the rain and all the water it should last hopefully we'll see i added a little bit of brown for the moss around the, the bottom so that that really kind of tops it off it kind of finishes it off so oh the furnace finally shut off yay so you can probably hear me better now huh yeah so all i'm gonna do now is just add the clear coat and then i'm gonna call it good so i'm gonna go ahead and end it here Hopefully you enjoyed. Maybe got a little creativity, a little bit of ideas for your own garden statues. I plan on doing more, not just morel mushrooms. And, uh, well, I'm going to be doing a lot more with morels once it warms up. I've got plenty of rain. It's been raining all day. So that's why I'm still in, like, sweats. I mean, it's just one of those days. A day off, rainy day. Wait for the mushrooms to pop. Yeah, I'm going to be doing some more uh, mushroom videos, but with real mushrooms later on. I'm going to be doing more concrete videos, too. I, I really like painting these statues. There's a couple more statues we have at Walmart that I kind of want to do. Alrighty, so all I'm going to do now, I'm just going to clear coat them with spray paint and call it good. 
And then, uh, yeah, on to the next project. So I hope you guys enjoyed and had a little fun watching me do this. If not, I'm sorry I bored you. Me. So I'll holler at you guys later.